People, my people, this is the second of the Jimmy Rum products I brought recently. Go and check out the interview with Jimmy. It's in four parts, easy viewing. Now, I brought the Navy, which I've reviewed. Fantastic stuff. Makes a lethal pea, being like a lila. Go and try that recipe. Now, this is the Rum Rum, and the Rum Rum is not cheap, cheap. This cost me 180 clams, which is perhaps the reason why my other half basically had a heart attack when I bought it on an impulse. There are, I'm an impulsive man. But I think, having tried this at the distillery, uh, the direction of James himself, Jimmy, to his mates, that this is going to be worth it. Now, Jim says that this is a rum that is meant to compete with whiskies so, and bourbons. So let's go on without any further ado. Let's find out whether the boy's right. Sound of happiness. Small glass. It is a stinking hot day that I review this on, so there's going to be no need to warm this one up to get the aromatics out. Nice touch, James. It looks like a, a real cork cork. Sound of unhappiness. Cork going back in. Now, according to the microscopic write up on this, that this is basically, as I've already said, it's there to compete with the whiskies. It's rum that, you, as you never knew it, it's a bit like Star Trek. It's life, Jim, but not as we, as we know it. This is rum, Jim, but not as I've known it. So, The no, smell of happiness suggest, suggests that this is not at all like um, the rums I've tried. There's actually not a lot happening on the nose, which is really quite curious. As you know, if you try that puke called Motherboard, it's really caramelly and sugary and quite in your face at this temperature. It's easily 25, 30 degrees outside, but it's pushing 40 outside. I'm sitting in a relatively air conditioned room, which is the reason why I'm wearing black and you're not. So, unlike things like Motherboard and other shit, this is not that aromatic. Despite the fact that it hits the scale at 52.25%, um, so it's well above proof. Which is perhaps the reason why Jim is marking this as a sipping whiskey. I mean, sipping rum. So, Jim, I swore I used the W word. Oh god, it burns. It burns, mum, it burns! Oh, mum, it burns! Um. Okay, I have an ice cube. Let's see how it goes when we add this one to an ice cube. Chemistry, folks. My wife teaches it, I practice it, I get a bit of the deal. She has to go and teach 14 year olds to not play with uh, gas burners and sharp objects in labs. I get to practice the beautiful stuff. So I'm having it on the rocks. Oh. Anyone that is <coughs> 50 plus is not for the faint hearted. Having said this, Jim is dead right. This is a sipping rum. It's not something that you would be wise to take large mouthfuls of, as I just did. This is going to hit you harder than Mike Tyson. Um, yeah, you start drinking large amounts of this, and it's just, and you're going to be. <laughs> Having said that, this is going to be a great gift. Easter's coming up. Uh, Father's Day is available later in the year, depending on how much you like your father or not. If my kids were old enough to buy this for me, I'd be saying, look, $180 per bottle is the very least you can do for your father, given how many hours and I've spent waiting in cold car parks for you guys to finish soccer and whatever else. So this is Jimmy Rum's Rum Rum. It's a sipping rum that is meant to compete with whiskies, and as far as I'm concerned, that's exactly what it does. It is a delight to sip, um, and I intend to expand the budget to go down to the distillery and pick up a couple more bottles which are cheaper than this, thank god, 
I don't want to be divorced on account of my alcohol habits. Thank you for subscribing, like, support, share, and just tell your friends about me. Catch you around. I think I might be reviewing a Russian product next week. Slovenia.